Reach out to him before he knows too much. Well, I don't know too much. I know what a five-year-old child knows. <laughs> Let's get some air. You look a little blue around the gills. Human body's like a furnace without air the fire dies. The Huber break. In the pink, meaning pink, oxygenated blood, vital for all life. Even a house plant knows it's got to breed or die. Anyway. Good morning, my name is Olwyn and I'm a registered nurse. Can I have your first name, please? Gary, G-A-R-Y, Thompson, like Mark. Hi, Gary. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Gary. Are you calling about yourself or somebody else? I'm calling about everybody else. I've noticed okay. up on the Poison Control Center, you've changed yeah. your protocol for opioid overdose. It used to be chest compressions only. Now they've changed it. It's up on your website to give them naloxone first and then give them rescue breathing. Okay. So first of all, Gary, who are you? Uh, are you a general public? Are you a physician? Are you a nurse? Who are you calling? Uh, are you calling? What are you calling? What am I calling about? Um, well, I'm, it's Gary Thompson. I've been published in the resuscitation guidelines and I wrote about poisoning. Yeah, they, they've been teaching. Do the the proper. Just excuse me one moment. Yeah, okay. Just give me a moment. Yes, ma'am. You're publishing the document, the resuscitation guidelines where? Every, I was published in them and I've been sharing them around. The 2050. Oh, sorry. In what, sorry, in what context? I just need to understand the context of who you are. Yeah. That's all. Um, I went to medical school, the U of T. I didn't graduate. I, okay. I give I lectures to, myself, yeah, okay. well, if you're a nurse, clear, so if you're, if, a, uh, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm just kind of trying to understand where you're coming from in terms of our guidelines on the, the website, but yeah. um, are you, like, is this something that you do for the general public? Oh, yeah, I'm first responder. First responder for years, downtown east side Vancouver, we spent with the opioid crisis that we've been having out there for years. I don't know how many people I've resuscitated from opioid overdose and other things. So you're an, you're an EMT? You're no, no, I'm uh, work for what you call it, Vancouver Coastal Health as an outreach worker. No, I'm calling from Toronto. I moved okay, here in 2010. Now, okay, and now what are you doing in terms of this capacity that you're in? Making awareness. Okay, all right. So the Ontario Poison Guidelines on that website have actually been there for about a year and a half, if not yeah. two years. I'm just trying to look for the date, but I think it's been since 2019. Um, yeah. I'm just going to appear. So it actually hasn't been a recent change. This has been a change that's gone on as I mentioned, from 2019. Um, just yeah. to see if there's a date on that. Yeah, there is. It's up on your website. It's August 1st. Uh, yeah, 2018, so two and a half years. So yeah. it's not a recent change. Um, and I don't know in terms of the chest compressions, but naloxone will always be the first line of treatment oh. in, a, in an opioid overdose. No. Always. No. It's respiratory assist. I'm, you have to stabilize the patient first. Their blood chemistry has become toxic. High, low sugar, potassium, sodium, hypercapnia. It, the naloxone may not work. Polydrug overdose, fentanyl, long acting, time release opioid. And it may not. A doctor can't tell what's causing the respiratory failure except give air, ASAP, diagnose, treat the underlying cause. And if, you yeah. have any, and if she has any concerns, she'll contact you. Yeah, okay. I've already got she's emails from Dr. Thompson. Okay, then there you yeah, go. And she, she says to give that. chest compressions. This is years ago. I don't know. It, yeah, the, you've changed your website, which is good. But it's got a hyperlink to the Ministry of Health website. Yeah, I don't deal with the website. I can talk 
to the girl who does it. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm just trying to save lives because it's making everyone. Hmm? All right. You know what? I'm going to take your phone number, and if there are yeah. any concerns, and the two people that were that the website lady and or the Dr. Thompson, if she has any concerns, they'll contact you. What's your phone number again? Six four seven. 864-6609. Perfect. All right. So I will let Dr. Thompson know and the website person. And if you have any concerns, give us a call back. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You have a great day. Nice chat with you. Sorry we're trying to talk well, over no, each other. To, no, I just need to know where you're coming from. I mean, like... Well, you're a registered you know, nurse. Just, you're a registered nurse. Right. I know. So I need to know who it is that I'm speaking with and in what context. Yeah. Information. So that's why I needed to know who you were and why you were. Okay. Yeah, it's up on my Twitter. I sent you a Twitter at Gary CPR with your old. I don't have quote. a Twitter account. Well, you don't need one. You just Google it up at Gary CPR. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Have Gary. a good one. Bye bye. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. And that's it. <laughs> you gotta have fun with these people. She's a nurse. <laughs> What's the first class in nursing school? Well, it's how to change a bedpan. What's the second practical class in nursing school? First aid, rescue breathing, because they're going to see a thousand respiratory patients before they ever run into a cardiac arrest situation. Hey, well, you guys have fun. Read the comment box. <laughs> Heart and Stroke Foundation sent them a letter in 2013. Stop teaching that. Still are, and it's spreading far and wide. The executive director at Health Canada got fired in January 2019 for blowing the whistle. You're all being murdered. Breathe in emergency. See the comment box.